Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are doing an unboxing of the Big Clown Multi Kit, which comes in this uh, rather interesting uh, red clown suitcase. I've tweeted a photo about this and said that it's one of the more interesting packaging methods I've seen in a while. It just looks good and uh, I believe it's very original. If you haven't heard of uh, Big Clown, I'll give you some uh, info. They're a team from uh, Czech Republic which aims to create this open source ecosystem where uh, using their building blocks anyone can simply build their own IoT projects. Their building blocks are composed of electronic modules, suitable enclosures and the required uh, development software that uh, you can find on their website. All of this is uh, open source and you can get the source files on their GitHub. They approached me and asked if I would like to review their uh, kit, this uh, multi-premium kit I believe it's called. And because I had this small data collection project in mind, I said yes because uh, I should be able to get it done on their platform and evaluate their product at the same time. The product is already on the market from what I could understand, but they are running an Indiegogo platform at the moment just to increase public awareness on their project and uh, scale up production. So if you're interested in something like this, check out the links I've placed in the description. The campaign seems to be already 100% funded, so that's a good sign of their success. The system is designed to work with these uh, so-called core modules that contain the processing power and the radio interface link and a bunch of additional modules that you can attach to the base module to add different sensors or new functionality. The modules are designed to be low power so that you can get years of usage on a single set of batteries. They use the uh, license free band of uh, 868 or 915 uh, MHz depending on where you are. Uh, the US or Europe and uh, that's for the radio communication between the modules but they also have an optional module that will allow connection to Sigfox modules and they have a LoRa module under development so that should provide access to other protocols as well which might increase the range or might play with the um, uh, battery life of the device. On the other side there will be a gateway collecting data from the nodes and that can be any computer or a Raspberry Pi. Then you can store and analyze the data locally or you could stream it to a cloud service and store it and uh, view it in the cloud. So you have a wide range of choices on how to uh, build your system, what kind of architecture to use. The premium multi kit will cost $359 and will get you a full selection of modules that will allow you to build a variety of projects. You get five core modules and those will be your nodes and a bunch of uh, sensor modules to add on top as well as uh, an AC to DC power supply module and an LCD module. They also include some uh, 3D printed enclosures so you can close them up nicely once you're done fiddling with the modules. After discussing with them the project I had in mind, they uh, included a few extras for me. I told them I want to record some temperature data in different places of my apartment so they included two climate modules instead of one and they also included a Raspberry Pi 3 to use it as a gateway because I didn't have one of those. So let's take a closer look at uh, what we get inside the box. Okay, so they included some uh, nice uh, postcards from uh, Zlin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. Looks like a pretty nice uh, city close to the mountains. Yeah, thank you for these. Okay, so this is what I was telling you earlier. They uh, plan to have, uh, I, I think, uh, actually no, they already have the Sigfox uh, module ready. So uh, uh, it's just a module that you plug on your uh, nodes and it allows you to uh, connect to uh, other Sigfox uh, module and the Sigfox uh, uh, cloud and backend. So that's pretty nice. This is the system concept. As I told you earlier, you have your nodes, 
then you have a USB dongle or you can um, that you can plug into a Raspberry Pi or any computer uh, and that will act as a gateway and then you can stream data or you can store it locally if you like or you can stream it to the cloud and then uh, the possibilities are endless because there are many cloud applications that you could use and these are all the different uh, modules that you can get so as you can see a pretty comprehensive list and i'm sure they are working on more modules as we speak so it looks like this is the Raspberry Pi 3 that they uh, included as an extra for me because I didn't have one. So they wanted to help me uh, get started on my project uh, pretty fast. This is an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. So let's see what we get inside this box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, one of those, uh, yeah, it's a clown uh, red nose. These look like the uh, 3D printed enclosure and uh, I must say they look very nice. I think this is uh, ABS. I'm only used to um, PLA printing because that's what I use on my 3D printer, but these uh, ABS uh, Enclosures sure look uh, nice and uh, sturdier than what I could get on PLA. So we get a bunch of these uh, enclosures for the uh, different nodes that we can build. I believe this is a uh, power adapter that's supposed to be used with the Raspberry Pi maybe, I'm not sure. This is a uh, flood detector, so you could basically build a home automation project with a bunch of these uh, sensors and uh, detect stuff like uh, uh, accidents like uh, floods from your uh, piping. So yeah, this could be very useful in that scenario. This is a core module, so uh, like I said, there should be uh, five of these uh, core modules in the kit. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, and five. Let's take a closer look at one of these uh, core modules. This is the base of every node. So right there in the center, we have the STN32 microcontroller, which is the uh, processing power for each of the nodes and right here we can see the uh, RF module. The PCB looks uh, very nice, the assembly looks very clean, it's uh, certainly a high quality uh, product. I'm not sure where, where they manufacture these, if they're made in Europe or in China, but the uh, manufacturing is uh, top-notch on these, very good quality. Let's see what else we have in here. This is a PIR module. Just a small PIR module to uh, detect the uh, presence inside the room, for example. So this could uh, very well be used in home automation project. And uh, like I uh, mentioned earlier, these sensor modules go on top of the base modules, something like this and you get yourself a uh, node that will broadcast to the gateway. This is a uh, battery module, so this will, for example, uh, go on the back of your module and uh, this way you get uh, power through uh, two of these uh, AAA batteries, which according to their website should get you at least two, two years of usage for uh, a node, which is incredible, I know, but uh, they make use of the uh, low power technology that's available today. This is an SD card for the Raspberry Pi, and I think it comes uh, preloaded with an image and uh, the right tools to collect data from these nodes. Another no, this is a climate module, so 
normally you would get only one of these uh, climate modules inside the kit but since I told them I want to collect data in um, uh, two points at least they included two of these uh, modules in my pack so you you can see here this is almost certainly the uh, temperature sensor by the way they have isolated that small piece of the uh, PCB where the sensor sits let me try to get a close-up of that you see that's a technique used in uh, PCB layout to thermally isolate that part from the rest of the PCB so any heat that might be uh, generated on the rest of the PCB will not get transmitted to the sensor and it looks like we also have a barometer and a uh, possibly a humidity sensor in here so indeed this is a complete uh, climate module because I can get data about temperature, humidity and the uh, pressure uh, at any given point and also we have a light sensor I almost missed this one it's so small we also have a light sensor on this side so yeah a pretty comprehensive uh, climate module that will allow you to take some nice measurements so I get two of those this is the LCD module so this will basically add the LCD capability to any of your nodes so uh, you could for example uh, build like a uh, monitoring station that will show you the temperature, humidity, pressure and light conditions for a particular node or cycle through uh, multiple nodes and display that data on the LCD which is pretty nice let's see what is this one this is a cover module so yeah this is a uh, simple PCB it doesn't have uh, it doesn't do anything it will just act as the cover of a uh, one of those uh, enclosures this is the BCM uh, 020 sensor I don't remember what kind of sensor is this one oh it might be just an uh, expansion board to maybe add the uh, other sensors or maybe add the flood sensor what kind of connection do we yeah I think it's for the uh, flood sensor although I haven't uh, checked that uh, so I'm not sure this is the power module I mentioned this one earlier this is to power one of your nodes from uh, AC oh, no I was uh, mistaken uh, after a few seconds of looking at this uh, PCB, I think I uh, uh, was mistaken. This is not to power anything from AC. Uh, I can see some MOSFETs in here and by uh, this self screen digital LED strip, I believe uh, this power module is intended as a power switch for controlling uh, some uh, strips of LEDs or something like that from the low power modules. So you would get in here with uh, let's see 5 volt DC adapter but of higher current and then you can switch that through these uh, MOSFETs to some high power LEDs or you also have the option of switching through this uh, relay which can do let's see up to 16 amps so yeah you can really switch some heavy loads using this uh, power module a bunch more of those um, battery uh, modules that allow you to use AAA batteries to power your nodes so nice that they've uh, also included batteries that's a nice thing they are based in Europe they ship from Europe so there is no problem for them to include batteries uh, in the kit because here in Europe uh, we yes we can send the uh, batteries uh, but mostly because it's uh, ground shipping instead of uh, air shipping and this is the uh, USB node thing like uh, this, uh, this dongle you would plug in a Raspberry Pi or in any computer to basically act as a gateway and receive the data from all of these uh, nodes I can see the modules are uh, basically different colors and uh, I'm not sure if just uh, like they like to use a broad spectrum of colors because of their thing with the clown kit uh, or maybe they are color coding these modules so maybe the uh, nodes are red, the sensors are some other color, the power boards are yellow. I'm not sure if there's some uh, color coding going on. Let's see what else do I have in here. 
just another power adapter. Oh yeah, so this is the power adapter for the Raspberry Pi and this other one that I uh, pulled out earlier. This one uh, I believe is just a, full, a 5 volt adapter yes, with a 2.1 millimeter jack that uh, will get used with the uh, power module for powering LEDs or anything that requires uh, more current. I've also taken a quick look at their online documentation and it looks to be very well organized with nice examples and step-by-step -step instructions. They are basing their examples on uh, Node-RED. I don't have any previous experience with Node-RED but it should be pretty easy to get started because of the well-written examples and uh, Node-RED seems to be pretty popular among IoT projects so there should be plenty of information available online. I'll tell you a bit more about the project I had in mind for this kit in an upcoming video once I get the uh, chance to get something done. Until then I just wanted to do the unboxing and let you know about their Indiegogo campaign just in case you are interested in uh, supporting them. So don't forget to check out the links I've placed in the description and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching.